happens. That looks like a bed right there. Bingo. That's all it takes. You got to find that bed. If you don't find that bed, you're just out here just fishing. Pun intended. Look at the size of this shell cracker. God almighty, look at the size of this shell cracker. Oh man, let me turn you guys around so y'all can see this. Time of the year, this is the best time for you to take the kids out fishing today uh, for the next several weeks because it's instantaneous success for the kids, for the family, for everyone, including yourself. Um, and we're going back after shell crackers because they're only going to be here for a little bit. Once they get off bed, you won't catch them like this in abundance till next year. Okay, you remember what I told you about using your phone. When you go out and your kid catches one of these big shell crackers, remember to take, take a picture with your phone. And that way it files the data away so you'll know that they're going to do the same thing. They're habitual. They're going to do the same thing next year. Okay, listen, let me introduce myself to a lot of, of our new subscribers. My name is Cam. Um, down here, we call this the crappy hole, and but today we're going to call it uh, the shell cracker hole and also the brim hole. Um, we're going back out today. We're going to catch an abundance amount of shell crackers, and um, I want to tell you guys exactly what I'm using um, to catch these shell crackers. This is very, very simple stuff. You got to remember, Cam doesn't do anything. Number one, it costs a lot of money. I, I, I wish I could afford a, a hundred thousand dollar bass boat, but I can't. I got a little two man boat. Um, down here in Thump City, hashtag Thump City, Georgia, which is AKA Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I produce my own hooks. I produce my own rod and reel combos called the Nasty Stick. They're spinning reels. Um, they're 6'2". They're specifically designed just to catch crappie, shell crackers, brim, trout, all of those type of fish that, that are really, really fun to catch, okay? Also, we produce our own plastics. We produce our own jig heads. Uh, we call them the Nasty Bin hooks, but that's just an intro. I can't go through everything on this video with you guys. I would love to, but go to the website. Just go to camscrappyhole.com and you can find everything there. We have over 400 plus products in our store. We're going to reorganize it because we're getting so many uh, products that are, that are, are landing in our store. Um, I want to show you guys real quick what I'm using to catch these shell cracker crackers. It's very, very simple. I'm not even using lead. I'm not using a sinker. I'm not using a bobber. All I'm doing is free lining. Okay, all it takes is a, is a box of red wigglers. You can get those at your favorite bait store or you can get them at um, <clears throat> the big box store. I got my nasty bin minnow hooks. And by the way, I'm using those nasty bin minnow hooks to catch shell crackers because of the long shank and the gap, the deep bend, the nasty bend in that hook. And also you can use these same hooks to catch crappie with. Okay, so I'm going to show them to you right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to take you off camera and let you get a real good close look at them. My hardware, plus I'm going to show you my hardware, what I'm using, my Cam's Nasty Stick, the gold edition. You guys have seen me uh, fish with the bronze. You've seen me fish with the silver. You've seen me fish with the platinum. Okay, the only two you haven't seen me with, which will be coming out, my Cam Signature Series Titanium, black ti blacked out titanium, and my gold series. Okay, for me, it's all about the ball bearings. Okay, the, the more ball bearings you have, the smoother the reel, uh, the longer that reel will last you. Okay, it's very, very important for you guys to remember that. So hold tight. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm dealing with. I'm going to give you a real good close up and let you see these, these nasty bend metal hooks. Okay, hold tight. Okay, you can see where I have the markers at. You see this is at the far end of the bed here, and this is the other end over here. So that bed is all encircled in there, okay? And this is how we're going to do it. We're doing the same thing as you guys saw me earlier with that worm, okay? And remember, we're catching and releasing today. We're not going to keep. Okay, so what I did was not to disturb the bed. I came out about 10 feet. All right? And now this is what I do. Generally, in most cases, I try to start on the edge of the bed and work my way inward, okay? And again, we're using the gold 8 plus 1 Cam's Nasty Stick, okay? I'm using that high-vis line, the same stuff that I use to catch crappie. I'm catching these big shell crackers off of. And remember, once you cast, watch the line. Hold that line still, okay? That's very important. Look at that. You see that? This is that drag. Look at that. God almighty. Guys, we weren't in that hole no longer than three seconds. Look at that. Look at this shell cracker. Pound per pound. 
guys, these these rascals are bad. Look at the size of this shell cracker. God almighty. River, back up a little bit. Let me show these guys the shell cracker. God almighty. Let me see if I can get myself together. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And let me tell you guys this. I, I definitely want you to catch a hold of this. You see how long that shank is? That's why he didn't swallow it, because we have a long shank. Okay, so I'm able to back bag that hook out without a problem. Boy, and these hooks are mean. God almighty, they're mean. I'm a little bit shy right now. I'm a little shy because I've been stuck so many times. You see how we bag that hook out? Look at the size of the shell cracker. Let me show you this. Guys, this is a 12 inch shell cracker. And this is supposed to be what they call an AKA panfish. He's mad because I'm holding. In other places, geographically, they're also known as red ear. Okay, so we're going to release this rascal because we're not keeping today. Okay, let me show you the release. Let me bend you down just a little bit. We're not keeping. Now remember, to find them, you're looking for washouts, sandy bottoms, and also you're looking for where, where the storm drain may be located from the street. Okay, anywhere where there's sand, anywhere there's still water. Look all the way up in the shallows. That's where you're going to locate them. All right, let's get back on them again. Man, listen, you have to have the, the entire family on the boat when you do this. It's mandatory. Mm, mm, mm. Let's put one more worm. And let me, let me say this to you guys. These worms cost me every bit of three or four dollars plus the hook. Plus my cam's nasty stick. And let me say this, I want to give you guys the reason why you want to use a cam's nasty stick. You remember that example I told you about going to a china shop and going through there with a, with a sledgehammer? You don't want to do that. You got to downsize your gear in order of what you're catching. You don't want to use that same pole that you're catching stripers with and hybrids to catch shell crackers and crappie. That's not how you get down, okay? Technically, you can do what you want to do. All right, I'm gonna show you the cast again. Remember, we're not using any, we're not using any bobber, we're not using any any sinker, just the hook and the line. And when it hits, don't reel, just watch it. Don't do anything. And I want to I want to tell you guys this: if you're not in the bed, they won't bite. You have to be in the bed, and it's instant. Look at that, God Almighty! Look at this, guys. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Man, these shell crackers are unbelievable. Look at this. God almighty. Guys, this is a big shell cracker. Let me see if I can turn you through. God almighty. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let me say this. I didn't even know that rascal was even on there. Look at the side. Man, I don't want to get stuck by these rascals. Big boy, I'm going to let you go. I promise you I'm going to let you go. I am not going to keep you. I just want to take a few pictures with you. Look at the size of this shell cracker. God almighty. Guys, this is what they call a panfish. Look at this rascal. Let me see if I can back you up a little bit so I can get it with real scale. Welcome to Cam's Shell Cracker City, baby. Mm, mm, mm. And look, with that long shank hook, with that long shank hook, watch this. Look at that. Look at that. And let me tell you the advantage of why you want to use a hook, a, um, a hook like this. You back it out, you get your hook, you put the fish in the basket, you release, and you're back in the water. You're back in the water. And guess what? You're catching more fish. I'm not fooling around sitting there trying to cut and retie, digging all in, yanking it out. I don't have to do that, guys. You're on to more fish. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you may have 30, 35, where the guy with the number two hook, he may have 25. Okay, the first thing I want to say to you guys, the first thing, I offer these in 10 packs. This is a one op. This is them number two. This is the Deadly Blood Red, okay? And I also offer them in a gold, one-aught and the number two, okay? 
I always use the one-up because I'm catching big shell crackers. It all depends on what size you're catching. And also for my crappie, I use the one-up because I'm catching big 15, 16 inch crappie. So if you're catching 10, nines, then you go with the number two. You have to kind of decide which one works better for you, okay? So listen, you, let me put real close up. You can see that's the number two right here. You can see that deep, deep bend in that hook. But I don't know if you guys can see the way that point is bent backwards. It's like it's double barbed, okay? These are the 20 packs. I also offer them in a value pack of 40. Okay, it's very important for you guys to remember. Okay, so I, I want you guys to get the, mo the most bang for your buck. And also on the boat right now, what I'm using, I'm stringing, I, I strung this bad boy here up. This is the gold series. You can see right there, it has eight plus one ball bearings. You can see that I still got the plastic on the, uh, on, on the Portuguese core candle. This is my nasty bent. This is my nasty stick. Okay, all of them are micro lights. You can see that right there my rods are 6-2 they're two-piece they're micro light and they're designed to throw between one to six pound test line okay and they're specially made to cast a 132nd to a 1 8 ounce jig so in other words they're, they're designed to throw light tackle okay if you got if you got 12 15 16 pound test line on your rod and reel that's not that's you can't throw a jig with that okay um when you have everything that I have over here, Cam's Crappy Hole on my my rod and reel combos, whether it's my nasty stick or whether it's my my blacked out titanium signature series, it's all about the ball bearings. Okay, when you have the ball bearings, that determines how smooth your reel is, and also it determines the less moving parts. Okay, when you have less moving parts, that means it's less things for it to tear up. Okay, so my my going back to the hooks, my gold hooks are plated. In 22 or either 24 karat gold. I can't remember which one it was, but either which way it goes, guys. The point, they're chemically sharpened. And listen, these right here, they come, everything in my store comes with free shipping. So you don't have to worry about, about paying the shipping. I'll take care of that. I got everything covered, guys. But listen, this is what we're getting ready to do. Let's go ahead and get on the lake. We're going to get ready to do some of these shell crackers real quick. And um, listen, if you like my material and you like what you see, the information that I'm gonna give you, hit that thumbs up button, okay? Share it with some of your buddies, whether in Cali, whether in Florida, whether in South Carolina, wherever you are across the country, share it with your people. And remember, go right downstairs, right to the right of the video, you'll see a red button that says subscribe. Click that red button, okay? Click that red button, and when you click it, a bell is gonna come up. It'll take you three seconds, just click that bell. That rest assures that you won't miss any of my episodes that are coming up, all right? Because I appreciate you guys, and I love everybody out there. But let's get back to some fishing, and let's pull these big shell crackers out. And remember, take the kids, take the wife, take the entire family, because you want them to catch some of these shell crackers, all right? Let's get back up there. I'm going to see if I can get on the back side this time. Let's get on the back side. Look at that. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh. Oh. Whew. These rascals are explosive. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we were out here and my buddy Thomas, one of the shell crackers, broke his line. Six pound line. Broke it. Matter of fact, his bobber is probably still down there floating. Let me see if I can pull you up just a little bit. There you go. Let's get back there again. Watch that line. Man, these rascals are strong. He's on. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, these rascals are strong. God almighty, they're strong. <laughs> Man, these rascals are strong. Let me pull you down a little bit. Man, listen. Guys, it, it doesn't cost a lot of money. You'll turn around for, if, you, if, you, if you're bass fishing, you'll turn around, you'll drop three or 400 on a bait caster reel. Then you gotta buy the lures to go on, which is six, seven bucks a piece. Look at that. I have huge hands. Look at the size of the shell cracker. God, I don't want to get stuck by these rascals. They done stuck me enough. Let me turn you around a little bit. Let's see if I can give you some scale. Got to watch river. There we go. Okay. Look at this. Look at the length of this shell cracker. Whew, man. And you talk about numbers. We were here yesterday. Hold still, big boy. All I want to do is show you, take a couple pictures with you, and I'm going to let you go. Let me get your autograph. Look at this. Take the kids out. Take the family out, and let them see this big rascal here. And, guys, look at those fins on top. If you touch those bad boys, they, they will hurt you. 
They will seriously, they like hypodermic needles, okay? They're unbelievable. Let's get back up there. We're going to do one more. We keep saying that. You know, all fishermen always say, let me just catch one more. Let me just catch one more. Man, you better hold on. Check your gear. Make sure everything is correct. Because if you have a weakness in your game, they're going to let you know. Remember, toss that bad boy up there and just hold tight. Just watch it. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Good night. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> hey, listen, this is why I extended that rod to a 6.2. You guys can see it bend. I extended it for more control when you have these crappie and these bait fish. Look at this. Let me tell you guys something. I have never in my life caught shell crackers except Santee Cooper consistently the size of these shell crackers here. <laughs> listen. I kind of envy all you guys out there that have kids and are raising your fishing partner because a lot of people search their whole lives to find their fishing partner and a lot of you guys have them in the house with you. They go to sleep with you every night, okay? Listen, if ever you guys have any questions for me, you know how to reach me. I try to answer all of my, and by the way, let me, let me address this right now. I'm so busy right now trying to fill everybody's orders with their poles, with their hooks, with their plastics, with their jigs, uh, with their hoodies, with their t-shirts, with their jewelry, with their watches, shades, that I may not be able to get back to everybody, but I always try to get back with you. So my last couple of segments, we've been so busy, we've been growing, and I want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the help that you guys have given me and for the love and support, and we're fishing. So listen, this is I'm Cam, this is the Shell Cracker Hole, until next time, keep those hooks wet. And remember, take somebody out fishing, all right? Till next.